This is how you can make an anti-crash system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the link Links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. All right, so we can start off by going over to our index.js and we can actually go ahead and do this pretty much anywhere, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it right in between this async function and these command folders. So we can come down here and I'm gonna go ahead and do const process equals require and I'm gonna go ahead and get node and we can do process. Now you are gonna actually have to go ahead and install node process within your terminal if you'd like this to work. So after you do that, we can come down here and we're gonna go ahead and get process to on and we can go ahead and get on handled rejection and then we can go ahead and do a comma we're going to do async we can go ahead and get reason and we can get promise and then we can go ahead and open this up with an arrow function so then in here all we have to do is console.log and we can get unhandled rejection at and then we can come outside of this we can do comma we can do promise and then we can also get a reason and then we can get our reason just like that so we're just going to go ahead and handle this unhandled rejection by console.logging it so the bot doesn't crash so next we can go ahead and handle a couple more events so we can do process to on we can go ahead and get on caught exception and then we can do error and we can open this up we can console.log and we can go ahead and input uncaught exception and that is going to be our error and then lastly we can go ahead and do process to on and we can get our uncaught exception monitor this one right here and then we can go ahead and get our error and we can get our origin and then we can do an error function and we can go ahead and open this up and then in here we can go ahead and console.log this again and we can get uncaught exception monitor and then we can go ahead and do comma we can get error and we can also get our origin and just like that so now we are actually done with the entire anti-crash system so having this code within your index is basically going to make it so your bot will not crash under any circumstances really uh, and the reason for that is because every single one of these events will handle a different exception or a rejection which is an error so let's say your bot has a fatal error and it would typically crash the bot having this code within your index will go ahead and handle that and log it so you can check what it is and fix it but it will not turn your bot off. Now before I did make a video on an anti-error system and I believe I only had rejection or exception or whatever in here but we went ahead and added all three so this is going to prevent your bot from crashing 100% of the time. Um, a couple things might crash but pretty much it will literally never crash. Alright so now that the bot is actually online we can go ahead and run our test command here. So there we go. So it is online and it is working. So what I've gone ahead and done a couple days ago is I actually went ahead and set up the invite logging system. So if we go ahead and check this, we can go ahead and choose any channel here. And as you can see, it's set up. However, I deleted the channel that I set it up in. So there's no data and there's a current error in my code where if there's no channel, but there is technically data, so it will be undefined, then it will crash the bot. So we can go ahead and test this out by actually inviting somebody to the server. Server. All right, so I just went ahead and joined the server on my alt account and as you can see It's gonna go ahead and give me an error here saying undefined reading of send uh, Twice so it's gonna give me that uncaught error and uncaught monitor So now we can actually go ahead and comment all of this code out and We can comment this part out too And then we can go ahead and turn this on and test this out one more time to show you that it actually would turn off if I didn't have that code put in all right, so I just went ahead and joined the server on my alt again without this code as you can see it's commented out and as you can see the bot crashed. Uh, I don't know how much you can see because I'm going to have to blur it out but the bot is offline and in the discord server we can go ahead and run our test command just to see and yes the bot is actually offline. So that's how you can make an advanced anti-crash system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and with that I will see you guys in the next video.